I like bats. Bats are great. So I was really looking forward to Bats in the Belfry. This is an MGM cartoon from 1942, directed by Rudolf Ising and Jameson Brewer, and written by Pinto Colvig. We have a great voice cast, including Pinto Colvig, Sarah Berner, and Kent Rogers. And this is about three bats who live in a belfry, and through song, they tell us why they are nutty. And interestingly, I'd never heard of bats as being called nutty before, but I guess that's where the phrase batty comes from, um, meaning nutty, I guess. So that gave me a bit of an education about bats being nutty. Um, and they sing about how the belfry makes them the way they are. And it's, it's not too bad. The song's quite catchy. It's quite addictive. I rather liked it. The animation, there's not much to look at. There's not much going on. It's basically about the bats moving around and somewhat dancing to this this music, this song that they're singing. With regards to the design of the bats, they're definitely an interesting colour. It makes it more eye-catching than if they were, you know, brown or black or grey or some kind of... Do you get brown bats? Have I just made that up? Um, anyway, if it was kind of a dark plain colour... Maybe it wouldn't have been as, as interesting, but it's certainly an interesting choice. Um, the characters are um, fine. I don't love any of them, but we do have three kind of different personalities for each of the bats, which makes it a bit more interesting. They're also different heights, so it's more visually interesting than, for example, if they'd all be in the same height and, you know, all looked the same and had the same personalities. But I felt like after the halfway mark, it kind of wore a bit thin and... I, it kind of lost the appeal. So it started off well, I was kind of engaged with it, and then it kind of dragged a bit. Not so much that I ended it finishing, you know, finished it saying, well, that was rubbish, because it wasn't, it wasn't terrible. But I think the pacing was not great. We kind of had all of the great stuff to begin with, and then it got very repetitive, not that engaging or interesting. Would I recommend it? Well, yeah, sure, because the first half, maybe more than half, is actually pretty good. And I quite like that aspect of it, um, and I certainly have no no complaints. As I said, the, the design of the bats definitely quite interesting. There could have been more they could have interacted with. Now they are in a belfry, so what could they have interacted with? I guess is the big question. But because there's not much around them, they don't move around as much as I would have liked. But I don't know. It's not too bad. It's not terrible, but it's definitely not my favourite.